The Wayne Hills varsity baseball team looks to fill the shoes of a very impressive 20-6 team last season. Although the lineup looks different, the culture hasn't changed and the young guys in the program are looking to make their mark. They are led by five seniors and a strong junior class. The expectations are high for the season, but the guys are not shying away from the hype. I think they have a great group of seniors this year. You know, guys like John Barone, Anthony Cuso, Josh Kurzer. You know, guys that really uh, set a good example for the younger guys and, you know, show what it is to be a varsity player and, you know, show, show them the ropes and stuff. And, you know, uh, I think they show a great amount of leadership in everything they do from, you know, vocal aspects to, you know, just playing the game and play with hustle and everything. And I think that's a, that's a great way to show the young guys how to do it at the varsity level. And I think there's not a better group to do it than the seniors we have this year. Well, even though we only have five seniors on this year's varsity baseball team, I think a lot of their experience and, and knowledge with the program, we've got a new coaching staff this year, but their experience and knowledge with what Wayne Hills baseball is has really helped and it's permeated into all the levels, freshmen, JV, and some of the younger kids that are now on varsity this year. It's really uh, affected in a positive manner all of the baseball players at all levels. Team leaders, probably John Brown, Dean Holbert, Pat Gilmore. Uh, they're not really guys that are screaming yell besides Dean, but you know they'll lead by example, and other kids will follow them. Yeah, I think we look for leadership in young guys because you know you can't always just count on the seniors to be leaders because you know it, leadership goes throughout the entire program. You know, as you know, the seniors Barone and all them, and juniors like Dean and Pat, and you know sophomores like Jason Sanfilippo and you know Joe Mongelli, guys who you know show leadership in their hustle and their hard work on the field is. Um, you know, it portrays what this team's all about this year, and it's it's from top to bottom leadership in this program, and you can't just count on one group. Along with strong leadership throughout the program, the technical aspects of the game are crucial as well. First is the defensive part of the game, which we'll be taking a look at first. I think our pitching uh, is going to be tremendous this year. We've got several great starters. Of course, John Barone is our number one starter this year, but on the back end at the bullpen, that's where you're going to see, especially with the new pitching count rules in NJSI AA Baseball, you're going to see a lot of changes in terms of what pitchers you can use. We've got plenty available. we got Pat Gilmore, Nick Palumbo to name a couple, and they're going to be helping us in relief as well. So I think relief is going to be the big story. We've got good starters. Can they shut it down? Josh Kurzer as well, another senior who's going to be playing a big role for our pitching staff this year. I think the pitching staff's looking pretty solid with our two starters, John Brown and Pat Gilmore, leading the way. Um, and we got Nick Palumbo coming out of the pen. He's doing really well this year. I like I like the way our field's set up. I, I love having a strong infield with uh, Jason Sanfilippo at short. Um, Dean Holbert's a strong uh, left fielder, and uh, we got some good arms in the outfield. Um, I really like Mason beyond the play. He's got a good arm. He gets the ball out quick, and he's a good hitter. I think our defense is looking great this year, you know, starting with Mason at catcher, very strong arm and um, very vocal in the aspects of the game. He, he controls the field kind of like quarterback, um, you know, our pitching staff, you know, looking great. And then, you know, going around the diamond, Pat Gilmore, Dean Holbert, you know, Jason Sanfilippo, Anthony Cuso, very strong infield there. Kids who can make plays, you know, make some uh, sports center top 10 plays, but also guys who will just get the routine plays done and, and make sure that there are limited errors. Along with the strong defense and pitching, the team also competes with a strong lineup from top to bottom. Um, I guess it's, it's pretty hard to say that we, we it's really hard to, uh, remake what we had last year. Not everyone can have um, five Division One players in a season, but um, this year we do have guys to replace them. Not 100% to replace them, but we still have guys that really stepped up the plate this year and really took the role that the le of the legacy that um, the seniors left behind last year. You know, as a team, we're pretty scrappy. We're not much of power hitters or guys that are going to live gap to gap always, but we're going to have good at bats and get on somehow. I think the overall lineup's good. Uh, it varies a lot, so no matter where anyone is put in the lineup, they take it very good and they just try to get their job done no matter where in the order they are. Adding all the aspects of defense, pitching, and hitting together will provide the formula for a winning season. The expectations are high for the season, but the guys should be able to compete. Uh, even though we have a young roster, I feel like we can make a run in the postseason because even though we're young, we've all been waiting for the past two or three years to have our shot to make it run the postseason, so we're going to take advantage of the time when we get it. 
I definitely think so. Um, even though they're young, they're really good players, and we got some, we got some older talent too. We got some seniors, we got some juniors, but I think our sophomore class is definitely our best class. It's definitely gonna try to lead us through the playoffs. To be successful, we need to follow on coach's leadership. Like he says, he likes us to get late in the count, work the bat pitching, you know, don't let him beat us. And also, we need to make outs, get the routine play. Well, I think aside from our pitching and having to get to our bullpen at, in the later stages of the game, being able for our stars to go five, six innings, on top of that, I think the biggest thing is going to be execution with our hitters in terms of bunting, because we're going to be playing a lot of small ball, and also executing steals, taking a lot of bases, and capitalizing on the other team's mistakes. Because in high school, you got a lot of teams who struggle when there's pressure situations. Can we capitalize on those moments? And I think we'll be able to. I think just day in and day out, just working hard, just getting out on the field, and just working hard every single day. Um, we can't take things for granted, even though if we had a good start this season, uh, we can't just let that go to our heads and just uh, take it still the rest of the season. You just got to keep the foot on the pedal and just uh, keep working hard. To, in order to be successful, we got to just play for each other, uh, play with a lot of passion and just be hungry and never be satisfied. Well, I think the baseball team will be able to make a real run in both counties and states this year. It's going to rely a lot on if we're underestimating our opponents or not. We've got to realize that every game we can't take for granted, have to be able to play solid defense, get good pitching from start to finish, getting ahead in counts in terms of pitching, and making smart baseball moves, not trying to do too much and trusting the process.